Where is Allah? Is He everywhere? No, He is not. This is a statement that could reach a person to void his Islam. Allah Azza wa Jal is on His throne, is upon over His throne, on the seventh heaven, and subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of any of His creation, and Allah Azza wa Jal cannot be uh, incubated or uh, 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 surrounded by any of His creation, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah was there and there was nothing created. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, he does not need anything. To say that Allah is everywhere like a lot of the ignorance do, those ignorance we have to speak to them and clarify it to them because they don't know. But if someone knows the verses of the Quran and the hadith of the Prophet the overwhelming evidences that states that Allah Azza wa Jal is over his throne when and the Prophet said to the Jariah, to the young slave girl, where is Allah? She says, in the heavens. And who am I? He, she says, you are the Prophet of Allah. He told her master, set her free, she's a believing woman. When Allah Azza wa Jal tells us that to Allah Azza wa Jal goes up the, uh, uh, the good words and from him comes down the decrees. Uh, when we say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la, all of these tell you and the, 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 when the angels descend from uh, uh, the heavens and they go up to the heavens and Allah Azza wa Jal is on top of all of that. All of this is overwhelming evidences and so many more that Allah Azza wa Jal is not everywhere. And those who say everywhere, Allah is everywhere, yeah, think for a while. Yani when I go, may Allah Azza wa Jal's name be exalted. When I go to the toilet, when I go to the bathrooms, when I'm in the sewer, Allah is there? How, are you crazy? Allah Azza wa Jal is greater than all what you can comprehend or, or, or understand. So you have to believe that this statement is blasphemy to say that Allah Azza wa Jal is everywhere. And finally, uh, Humaira says that her husband wants to do i'tikaf in short, and she's alone with her child in the house. And it is scary for her to go and take food to him and come back at 3 a.m. when Fajr is. The answer is, you do not leave the house. He does his i'tikaf for 10 days, the seclusion in the masjid at the last 10 nights of Ramadan. He does i'tikaf, this is good, this is sunnah. And he's allowed to come out to answer the call of nature, to, to, to have a meal, to take a shower and go back. But he does not socialize and sit and talk and chit chat. He does what he needs to do and go back to the message without any form of intimacy. And with this, we come to the conclusion of our episode of Ask Huda. Until I meet you on Friday next week, inshallah, I leave you fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. She is what I beseech Keep in my heart your remembrance And in your deen allow me to advance Help me in my quest Permit me to pass the ultimate